happening now. The U.S. Justice Department continuing its investigation into allegations of abuse and misconduct by Trenton police. Today, Trenton's mayor is responding, and we're hearing from an attorney who says his client is a victim of police brutality at the hands of officers. Our Jeff Cole is live in Trenton tonight. Jeff? Yeah, Jason, it's clear the Justice Department probe of the Trenton Police Department is already underway. An attorney representing the police union today says that he is already in conversations with justice lawyers. The news that the U.S. Justice Department will probe Trenton police for brutality took some by surprise in this city of 90,000. Yashika Donaldson says she's lived in Trenton's toughest neighborhoods. I've never experienced that with Trenton cops. I've always had good experience with Trenton cops. And I think with the crime that's going on now, I, I've never seen anything done to any of the criminals brutally. But some have. It's about time. It's way late. Attorney Greg Zeff says this body camera video shows his client, Juwan Henderson, confused when police approach while he's seated in his car in February of 2022. When he moves his vehicle, he's shot and is now paralyzed. It's not safe to walk down the streets of Trenton because of the police. Because if you're walking down the streets by yourself in Trenton, you're going to get stopped and your rights are going to be violated. The Justice Department says it has serious and credible reports of abuse by Trenton's 260 member department. Our investigation will seek to establish whether these allegations are true and whether the Trenton Police Department is engaged in a pattern or practice of violations of the Constitution. The police union says it'll cooperate with U.S. Justice while protecting its members. In a statement, Trenton's mayor writes, we thank and support the overwhelming majority of officers at the city, county, and state level who do the right things every day to keep Trentonians safe. Those officers have been instrumental in taking guns off the streets and preventing senseless acts of violence. In April of 2020, body cameras roll as Trenton police are called to a parking lot for 29-year-old Stephen Del Samor acting erratically. After a struggle, he dies. Police are cleared of wrongdoing, but Trenton pays nearly $2 million to his estate. We need police that engage with our citizens. We don't want it to be a war between citizens and police. Now, it does seem to be that this uh, investigation is very well known in the city. Moving about Trenton today, number of people asked us about it, asked if we were here, in fact, to cover it, this probe. But the Justice Department could, in fact, take a year and result with federal oversight of Trenton police in Trenton. I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Folks. All right, Jeff, thank you. We want to turn here.